What's up, Glock fans? Shane Coley here, captain of Team Glock. So last month we had the long-awaited launch of our Gen 5, and we're all incredibly excited. But this month, I want to get back to Train with Shane episodes. So today we're going to be talking about entering and exiting positions. Now generally in competition, these boxes specify a required shooting position. But even when we're maneuvering through a course of fire, all these fundamentals will still apply. So let's get to it. So in entering position, we want to focus on our footwork so that our entrance is smooth and efficient and our pistol is up and ready to fire as soon as we're settled in position. Now being ready to fire is based on the distance and difficulty of the target, so obviously on a harder shot, it's going to take longer for our sights to settle. So the first thing I want to do is use my knees as shock absorbers so that I can break down before I get to the position. Then I want to take my left foot, plant it right in front of the box, and at this time, I'm presenting my pistol to the target and starting to find my sights. As soon as my right foot enters the box, my pistol is fully extended and my sights are settled, and I'm ready to shoot as soon as my left foot enters. Now at this time, stay low and stay aggressive. Don't stand up tall when you enter the box, or else you're going to end up losing time. So moving right to left, the same fundamentals will still apply, except now we're going to reverse it. My right foot will now be my plant foot in front of the position, and then we'll continue through the same process. Now whether you move it left to right or right to left, remember it's okay to stutter step to make sure that your feet are in the correct place. So exiting a position is also based on the distance and difficulty of the target. For an easier shot, I can start to lean out of the box when I draw to be a little bit quicker out of position. But for a harder shot, I want to make sure to stay planted in the box so that I get the appropriate follow through and then leave by pushing off with my support foot. So today we talked about entering and exiting positions and how to make your movement more efficient. You can dry fire this safely at your own home or run live drills at your local range. But remember, time is saved in efficiency of movement. Now at Train with Shane, we have a ton of new ideas and a lot of big things coming. So please stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, Glock hopes you train hard and have fun.